Let's see what happens when we mix three equal parts of each of the primary colors. You don't have to do this at home if you don't wanna waste paint, but I'm really curious to see what happens. So I'm gonna just mix these together here. And again, I started with equal parts, or at least I tried to. And once the paint is integrated, it looks like I've got a very um, reddish brown. So I'm just gonna wipe my brush on the side here and swatch this. You could use a different um, piece of paper for this if you wanted, if you've got a separate piece of paper. Maybe I just flip this over. So that is just a beautiful deep brown color. Um, let's see, if, if you want a lighter brown, add. let's see what happens when I add a lot of yellow to a little bit of this equal part mixture of primaries. So in, in school, we call this making mud uh, and is generally discouraged when we're trying to paint something colorful. So the colors that are not in the rainbow, white to black, brown, tan, these neutral colors are called neutrals or um, tones, tints and shades, although there are tints and shades in the rainbow. So I can keep mixing yellow to this to get um, closer to tan. This is a, a great exercise for mixing skin tones. We might do that later this year too. So I'm just continuing to get lighter and lighter. Pretty cool, huh? So this would be great for trees and whatnot. Give you a lot of options for trees, grass, winter colors. What happens, and of course I'm getting a, a lighter value here. What happens when I add more red to this brown? Take a guess. Just a little bit, just a little dip of red and see what happens. Okay, so again, I'm going back towards that cherry color. So that's kind of what happens, a really nice burgundy cherry color. What happens when I mix this delicious brown with equal parts red and yellow, but more blue? I betcha I will get a cooler tone out of this. Blue is a cool color. We know it's going to get darker because blue is such a dark hue. Oh man, I like this. Look at that. Ooh, yeah, so rich. Like a deep espresso. And then from here, if you really want to get complex, oh, I really like that. So definitely more blue in there, but that is a complex color. That would be a great color for... Um, uh, winter Alaska paintings, um, almost the color of the spruce trees against a bright sky. So we're definitely going more blue here, but really cool color. So if you want to get really adventuresome, you could mix each of these with white and see what happens to create tints of each of these. Or you could mix each of these with black to create shades. So again, to get a nice rich brown, you will mix equal parts of your primary colors.